It's no secret that dogs can be terrifying. They are big, fast, loud, aggressive, and most importantly, loving, which are also traits that can apply to humans. Remember, it's the owner that makes the dog, not the dog that makes the owner. Stay tuned until the end to see which dog breed was made from dingoes. Before we get started, like this video, subscribe to The Richest, and join our notification squad. Now, here are the 10 scariest hybrid dog breeds in the world. Doberman. The Doberman is the Frankenstein's monster of breeds, and it even bears its creator's name. The dog was first established in 1890 by Carl Friedrich Louis Doberman, a tax collector living in the town of Apolda, Germany. He wanted to make a dog that would protect him during his fraught expeditions to dangerous neighborhoods and confrontations with dangerous people. This was achieved by mixing several breeds, including Rottweiler, German Pinscher, and Boceron. The hybridization was successful, and the 28-inch tall, 80-pound Doberman was born into the world of protection services. The breed thrived in its role, and today, Dobermans are used for all kinds of aggressive, specific jobs. They can be found guarding businesses, hunting down criminals, and rescuing wounded soldiers on the battlefield. Of course, they can also make great house pets. However, because of their selectively bred tenacity, Dobermans have found themselves near the top of the list of dangerous dogs. Wolf Dog We don't need much of an explanation for this breed. Wolves and domestic dogs have been bred in society for hundreds of years and in nature since the Ice Age. Since domestic dogs split from wolves only 40,000 years ago and share 99.9% .9 of the same DNA, crossbreeding is easy. It has been accomplished with wolves such as gray wolf, timber wolf, and Ethiopian wolf, and dogs like German Shepherds, Siberian Huskies, and Alaskan Maltese. Wolf dogs become the size of wolves rather than dogs, standing nearly three feet tall and weighing over 100 pounds. In terms of temperament, wolf dogs have a bad reputation, which has resulted in breed-specific bans around the world. However, public opinion is changing in regards to wolf dogs as people believe that they have been unfairly vilified and are no more temperamental than other independent breeds. Still, owing to wolf dogs' size and unpredictability, they rank high in dog bite statistics. If this weren't scary enough, keep in mind they are part wolf. Great Dane Though Great Danes are gentle giants, they belong on this list based on sheer size. Also, the fact that they've had a long and convoluted breeding history means that Great Danes didn't become great through sheer tyranny of will. It was a centuries-long process that started in Germany in the 1600s. Although, dogs resembling the Great Dane have been found on Egyptian monuments and in ancient Chinese literature. The modern Great Dane is believed to be derived from English Mastiffs and Irish Wolfhounds. Danes were originally bred for boar hunting and quickly became prized for their size, intelligence, and tenacity. The Danes even found their way into the hands of European royalty. Eventually, the need for boar hunting ran out, and the Great Dane made a unique transition from ruthless hunting machine to friendly and docile companion dog. It still retained its legendary size, of course. The Great Dane is the tallest breed of dog, with one individual reaching 44 inches at the shoulder. Canary Mastiff the Canary Mastiff was bred in the Canary Islands in the 15th and 16th centuries. It is thought to be the descendant of early Mastiffs brought by conquistadors. These Mastiffs were then bred with Bulldogs and Sheepdogs to create the unmistakable size and coat that has defined the breed. Also defining the breed is its ferocity. Following roles as hunters, herders, and guardians, the Canary Mastiff was forced into dogfighting. At 25 inches high and well over 100 pounds, the breed was an obvious choice for the blood sport. But years in the ring drastically reduced its population, and soon the Canary Mastiff was in crisis mode. Thankfully, the breed entered a resurgence period in the 1970s, and the Canary Mastiff was rehabilitated as a brave and loyal pet with extraordinary markings. This doesn't mean we won't still be scared if we see one. There's no dog that looks more like a mythical beast, so excuse our apprehension. Pitbull It's no secret that pit bulls have had a short but brutal history. They were first bred in England in the early 1800s by mixing bulldogs with terriers. This created, in effect, super dogs. Early pit bulls were used exclusively for blood sports like bull and bear baiting, which pit groups of dogs against the aforementioned animals. When blood sports were banned in England in 1835, pit bulls were forced to fight each other and were selectively bred for dog fighting. As you well know, this has continued into the 21st century. 
Pit bulls are the most popular fighting dogs and have been stigmatized in society as a result. This is not an unjust ruling. Pit bulls are among the most aggressive dog breeds and are ranked annually amongst the most bite-centric canines. They are also responsible for causing more human fatalities than any other breed. It's not a surprise, then, that pit bulls have been the subject of city and even countrywide bans. Of course, pit bulls are not the problem. They are the scapegoats of a larger problem that begins and ends with their owners. Bull Mastiff there are few breeds as powerful as the Bull Mastiff, which has become one of the most feared. The colossal Bull Mastiff dates from the mid-1800s and was created by gamekeepers to help guard estates. The dogs were a result of breeding English Mastiffs with the now extinct Old English Bulldogs. The best qualities of both dogs converged in the Bull Mastiff, which is large, strong, and fast. Thus, individuals were shipped all over the world to aid in the protection of land. This included South Africa, where bull mastiffs were used to guard diamond mines. Though not as large as its predecessor, the English Mastiff, the bull mastiff averages over 100 pounds and sometimes approaches 200. Temperamentally, bull mastiffs are quite calm, but if challenged, they will put up a fight that no one wants. They've been responsible for 111 attacks in the U.S. and Canada from 1982 to 2014. Bull Mastiffs are decidingly unaggressive unless provoked, and their scariness is mostly an illusion. Dogo Argentino this ghostly dog has a reputation similar to that of a pit bull, only the fear is reserved for South America rather than North America. Dogo Argentino was first bred in 1928 in Argentina. It was developed by Antonio Martinez, who wanted big game hunting dogs for wild boar and other South American pests. He accomplished this by crossbreeding the now extinct Cordoba fighting dog, which was itself a crossbreed of the Boxer, Mastiff, and others, with all kinds of breeds like the Great Dane, Bull Terrier, Great Pyrenees, and even the Pointer. The result was 90 pounds of pure muscle and power. Martinez got his wish, and maybe more than he bargained for when the breed excelled at hunting. And thanks to its reliability and perseverance, it started to be used in search and rescue operations, the police service, and the military. Unfortunately, it's also been used in dogfighting. Despite its appearance, ferocious past, and the fact that Dogo Argentino has been banned or restricted in countries like Denmark and Australia, it can make a social, loyal, and loving pet. Rottweiler the Rottweiler has an origin story that should make most other breeds jealous. As one of the oldest dog breeds in the world, the Rottweiler is a mixture of ancient Roman Mastiffs with unknown local dogs from the German city of Rottweil. The newly formed Rottweiler was used to drive carts and herd livestock, thus earning the nickname Butcher's Dog. Being bred for their strength, Rottweilers attained sizes that made it one of the most intimidating dog breeds in the world. The largest Rottweiler on record weighed 195 pounds. Rottweilers work all kinds of jobs and have proven to be a perfect companion. Of course, their size and strength means danger for people who mess with them or their owners. Rotties rank second behind pit bulls for the most attacks on people and the most attacks resulting in fatalities. However, they protect far more than they harm, as Rottweilers serve as police and guard dogs all over the world. Borbel. The Borbel is also called the South African Mastiff, and for obvious reasons. Borbels originated in South Africa after Dutch boars settled in the area. Borbel translates from Africans to farmer's dog. They were bred to protect farm, hunt game, and defended the land from intruders. It's hard to determine Borbel's exact lineage, but when the breed emerged, the dogs common to the region were bloodhounds, greyhounds, mastiffs, and terriers. It's believed that the Borbel is a combination of these breeds. Being trained to hunt lions, Borbels emerged as an extremely powerful breed, tipping the scales at 175 pounds in some instances. But just like with other dogs that were bred for aggression and later leveled out, Borbels are now quite social and loyal dogs. But they are also unflinchingly protective, which is why they can maim people who threaten their family or property. Borbels are banned in several countries, and at first glance, it's easy to see why. Dingo Dog There's always a bit of trepidation when a domestic dog gets crossed with a wild one. Wild dogs aren't trustworthy in the ways that domestic dogs are, which is why such crossbreeds pose problems not just in society, but in the wild. 
Dingle dog breeds are one of these. This abundant hybrid emerged in Australia when settlers' dogs began mating with their genetically similar dingo relative. However, this didn't always happen against the wishes of the dog's owner. Some dogs have been intentionally bred with dingoes to create energetic and intelligent yet independent hybrids, including the famous Australian cattle dog, which was first developed in the early 1800s. But for every crossbreed that was intentional, there were thousands that weren't. And now, Australia is overrun with dog-dingo hybrids. They're often easy to spot because they have the body of dingoes but the coat pattern of other dogs. It turns out that they have the tenacity of wild dogs but with an unprecedented comfortability around humans. That's all for the 10 scariest hybrid dog breeds in the world. What dog are you the most afraid of? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.